Welcome to this documentary on the Monarch Nature Trail in Huntington Beach. Here we have plenty of dry vegetation. You can volunteer and help out with the ecosystem. Support native plants, pull weeds, and support the monarch butterfly. Good stuff. About once a year, the city comes through with their herbicides and spray all throughout this pathway. But alas, cities spray on public streets Oh, tis tis tis. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. To your left, behind the wall, is a water reservoir facility that feeds water to the local residents. Here we have a black cat, Phyllis catus, a domestic species of small carnivorous mammals. Not many cats these days due to this region being used as a coyote bypass. Watch out little pussy. Here we have what appears to be Lactuca seriola, wild prickly lettuce. We have an industrial complex to the south. Hmm, what's that smell? I have no clue. I hope it's safe for the residents over here. This path used to be a railroad corridor for the Navy to transport munitions to the nearby Seal Beach Naval Base. The city has mowers plowed through here sometimes to destroy dead vegetation. They're probably worried the dry vegetation will become a fire hazard. I've heard and read stories of all kinds of things spill and being buried on railroad right away. So I'm hesitant to try eating any of these plants along the trail. Safety is questionable. Here we have many, many weeds of the Brassicaceae family, like Hirschfeldia incana, also known as short pod mustard. This family, Brassicaceae, includes many edible grocery plants like broccoli, kale, and red cabbage. Mmm, yum yum, my favorite red cabbage. Here we have Oinothera elata, also known as Hooker's Evening Primrose. Very fascinating with the yellow flowers. Here we have a member of the Rus genus. Here we have California sagebrush, Artemisia californica. Here we have goldenrod, Saradego californica, and coyote brush, Bacchus palularis.
here we have wild buckwheat, Iriogonum arborescens. Fantastic looking plant. Here we have white sage, Salvia apiana. Here we see a monarch butterfly larva, Danaus plexippus, not to be confused with similar looking viceroy, Lamentatus archippus. The viceroy has a horizontal black bar on its dorsal region. The monarch butterfly larva consume a milky white substance containing toxic compounds which acts as a defensive mechanism against predators. Planting native drought resistant plants like milkweed helps support monarch butterfly populations and the ecosystem. Everything is interconnected. Do not plant non-native tropical milkweed shown here. <coughs> The vegetation of tropical milkweed is persistent over winter, allowing parasitic spores from a protozoan, Ophryocystis electroscara, to accumulate on the plant structures and on other butterflies, transferring spores onto the butterfly eggs upon overposition. That means the deposition of the egg into the environment. Native milkweed leaf structures die back in the winter, mitigating the parasitic load and enhancing the health during development. And here we have California brittle brush, Encilia californica. Some people just refer to it as Encilia. Gorgeous yellow flowers of the Asteracea family. Well, this concludes our tour of the Monarch Trail.